Hello everyone and welcome back to the Battle for Middle Earth Evil Campaign. In the previous episode, Lurtz lost half of his army, but it doesn't matter because the War Riders, that's not going to be our final army anyway. And in this episode, we're going to continue the onslaught in the mouths of the Entwash. Because why not, right? So without further ado, let's continue. The mouths of the Entwash form a vast swamp where these waters rush into the Anduin. Cool. Cool story, bruh. Destroy all Rohan forces. Oh, I love playing against Rohan. They're so easy. Except for Ents. I really don't have any way to deal with Ents at the moment. That blows. That blows hard chunks. Well, let's go find out where they are. Actually, it's just do a few things over here first. Alright, now let's go find out where they are. It's all mountains over here or something. Can't click anywhere. Uh, hello? Alright, that was weird. I was clicking, but nothing was happening. Even when I left clicked. Eh, goblins. Why not? The good practice. Uh, I don't care about farms and stuff, so. Let's just focus on finding out where the enemy is. Am I even playing against an enemy? I haven't seen anyone. Oh. I guess I am. There's a thing right there. But do they have anything built? No, no, no. Surely that can't be their only place. There's a whole area down there I haven't explored yet, so... That's what I'm gonna assume they're where they are. Ooh, uh, no. I'm not going to attack that Ent. Don't think Lurtz can take on a whole Ent by himself. Ah, there they are. Is that... Oh. Okay. Yeah, that was easy. Too easy. Oh, huh, well. Balrog is ready to, to play. So... Charge? I don't know. Can Lurtz kill an Ent? Well, the Ent is attacking this now, so I guess I kind of have to try. He can probably do it. He's a tough guy. So, once I have that place, all that's left is that. And what are we dealing with, exactly? You know, I could actually just... Send in the Balrog. I think that's what I'll do. Send in the Balrog, cripple their forces a little bit. I love it, the Iris aren't watching the Balrog just kind of... come out. Love it. Alright, we'll do it right here. Yep, oh, well, Lurtz, looks like Lurtz is getting his butt kicked by... by the, uh, Ent. Oh. So they're probably just gonna go ahead and attack the, uh... Yeah, the wards. That's what I would do. I would ignore the Balrog, because it can't do anything against the Balrog. You're scared. Yeah, you have every right to be scared. It's a freaking Balrog, dude. You can't beat that. If I can destroy the stables, it's good enough for me. <laughs> wow. It sucks to be those guys. Alright, guys. 
There's a Balrog out there, but if we're fast enough, we might be able to outrun him. All right, let's go. Dead. Sound effects and all. All right, let's just get in here. Everyone get in there. All right, that's everyone highlighted. Good. Uh, yeah. That's the only one. Ah, peasants. Who needs peasants? You know, insult to injury. Yeah, I don't even need it. Uh, I think that's all the buildings. Except for this. Let's just go ahead and destroy that before it could even happen. Wow. That was easy. No, they have another settlement. All right. All right. Uh, it's probably up here. It's probably like a little thingy. It's quite annoying. Uh, let's go find out. And just send everyone up there. I think I have enough towers. I have enough towers where I don't have to worry about it. Well, I'm about to, I should say. And sure, we'll have some guard dogs while we're at it. Where? Where? Where's the enemy? Oh. The end. Well, I don't care about the end. And you know how much I don't care about the end? Boom! How do you feel about that, you little dickhead? Yeah, it's funny because his head does look like a dick. <laughs> I'm funny. No? There's a camp up here, but... Where are they? What? Uh, let's, let's ignore, ignore the end. Is that a requirement? Destroy all good forces. I'm missing something. Oh, when did you get there? That's fine. Uh, which citadel did they destroy? This one. At least I have wargs to take care of things. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. These guys that are right here, gonna kick these peasants' ass. And these guys, are gonna kick the Rohirrim's ass. I would actually have the Balrog do it, but, you know, he was kind of busy destroying the actual castle. Yeah, so. I love the map of this. It's like very, very good. There's mountains and ways where you can funnel your enemy in. Very well designed. I don't usually talk about design of levels, don't I? Alright. Well, now we can sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Oh. Or maybe not spin around like an idiot. That'd be great. Alright guys. It really doesn't take all that long to destroy a citadel. Hell, I could probably destroy a citadel faster than you guys. I don't know, by all means, take your time. It's not like we're in a rush or anything. Okay, really? 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 Come on! Good. Now that level is over. I will 
will be no dawn for men. Where are they fighting? Oh, there was another door here and there. That's weird. Whatever. Victorious. Victor Aureus. That's not a bad idea. I wonder if there's... Survived? I did not survive that. I kicked ass. Didn't you see me? Anyway, to go back to what I was saying. I wonder if there's someone out there with the last name Aureus who named their kid Victor. Victor Aureus. Victorious. Victory is near. The enemies yeah, it of is. darkness will be shown no mercy. No, they won't. And we will show them even less mercy in the next episode. But until then, like if you like this, subscribe to see me some more. If you have a suggestion... And as always, I hope you all enjoy, and I will see you on the next one.